Right, so you sick and fury of signed contracts. Well, uh, this is old news at the minute because it was about a month ago when all this come out, apparently so, but it keeps getting drip fed as it normally does. One minute they're signed, next minute not. Fury's not happy, blah, blah, blah. It's the same old story, but apparently the fight's going to happen in December the 20, on December the 23rd. It's not going to happen, I can tell you that. I've not got any uh, experience in professional boxing. I've never organised a boxing event. But I can tell one, tell you one thing, that won't happen on the 23rd, that's for sure. But, um, no, it'd be good if it did, but l let's be honest, um, Fury's fighting tomorrow. It's just, it's not going to happen. So, either way... Same old story. So basically, you know, Tyson Fury, it says Tyson Fury have now agreed terms and put it into the world title of stakes. Uh, Fury risks his unbeaten record. So this will be for the unification of all four belts. Um, so, yeah, it, I mean, if it happens, if it happens, it will be a huge fight. But um, I think it's IFL have just put this interview out um, of Fury. Um, let's have a listen and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. What are you judging now? I'm judging all these boxers having a fencing competition with people when yeah. they've got the full advantage to do something else. Fuck them. Why are we giving, Shane, give the mic. On our, uh, why are we giving these pussies relevance on an interview? Fuck these idiots. Who are they when they're at home? All of these pussies. Well, no, sausages. We, we just came on to the topic of Usyk and... Uh... Usyk's a sausage. Forget about him. Usyk's a little dirty little slimy fucker, actually. We're gossiping on you, you little sausage, and I'm going to release it very soon. What, has he said something? Or? No, no, bigger than that, much bigger. He's been on the missing list for a little minute or two. A little sausage. So anyway, we know what's going on. We know what's going on, but fuck him. It's about me and Francis Ngarnu anyway. Battle of the baddest. Baddest motherfuckers on the planet. Me and Big Francis. He, uh, he arrived in the uh, Grand I'll tell Line. you what I'm not doing. Go on. I'm not having a quarry off with a big man. No chance. <laughs> Well, Someone sent me a photo of him in the shower. It was horrendous. <laughs> Someone, I don't, right, I don't know uh, who's sending you photos of Nguanu, Nguanu in the shower, mate. But whoever, if anyone, whoever's sending Fury photos of Nguanu in the shower, probably best not to. I don't, to be fair, I watched this and was just like, I know on the surface it's funny. Right, and then I thought a bit more into it, and I thought, are these recent pictures? Why is he receiving pictures? I mean, it's weird anyway, isn't it? I mean, I, I mean, blokes might do it for a laugh, but not against the person you're fighting. The whole thing it got overlooked in this, and I was like, is no one talk? Is no one going to talk about that? Fury's getting in naked pictures sent of him by Ngannou. Well, obviously Ngannou's not sending them. Well, he's taking the pictures. I mean, the whole thing's just shady, isn't it? But if you're fighting someone, you shouldn't really be in contact with them, taking, you know, having pictures. But anyway, I thought I'd just put this out there. So th the whole thing with you, sick. Now, obviously, Fury is known to be a bit of a one minute he says one thing, next minute he don't. He's he's not exactly the most reliable guy for information. We know that. But he looked completely genuine um, when he was speaking about Usyk being, uh, you know, missing um, and that he's got some dirt on him. That, to me, looked 100% genuine. The way he said that, it, the, way, the way he conducted that, um, that conversation, I... Personally, and I'm sure you'll agree, looks seriously real. What kind of dirt does he have on him? Um, so I, I start, you know, I couldn't find anything. I, I looked it up because obviously the first thing that we all think, well, the first impression I got was either he's in prison for murder or whatever, and um, no, it's not been leaked yet, um, or it's drugs. So. Most likely drugs. I think murder's a bit of a push. Um, so, yeah, drugs. So, I thought, do you know what? I'll have a quick Google and uh, Google you sick, you know, failed drug test, you sick, um, VADA drug testing, stuff like that. So, um, you sick uh, against, du was it Dubai? Dubois? I forget his name. Um, had a clean drug test. 
So that come back fine. Against Joshua, both times come back fine. I don't think there's any issues around Usyk, but here's the here's the caveat. Apparently Usyk is suffering from um from an injury uh from the Dubai's fight. Dubai? I I'm sorry, I'm not very good at reading when it comes to foreign names, I'm awful. Uh, so apparently he has got an injury. So if that's the case, he might have been taking steroids to get better and that's why he's uh, dodging the drug testing. Um, Fury's making it, you know, sound worse than what it is. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, drugs are bad. Um, in sports, we're not talking about recreational drugs. We're talking about performance drugs here. Um, I don't agree with any drugs at all on any level. Um, I'm very, uh, well, I've been sober 10 years. I don't drink. So, um, so, and that's not because, you know, I, I understand that, um, no, mind you, I do, I do agree with medications, medications that help people. I'm, but when it comes to sports, I, my personal opinion is they shouldn't even be allowed protein. That's how um, dictatorship I would be. Because I like, the point of my bot training is I want to be as fit as possible without any any aids at all. Um, like they used to back in the ni- 1900s. Yeah, they, they they done it in 1900. You know, um, I'm studying um, L. Sullivan at the minute. They didn't have protein drinks. They All they had was hard work and whiskey. So, yeah, I mean, I don't drink now. But, yeah, going off on a, on a thing there. So, yeah, cut long story short. Yeah, I don't agree with drugs in the thing. But in, in special circumstances, if it gets a boxer back to fighting fit um, and then he's proven that he's not taking it anymore, you know, drugs are only illegal until a doctor prescribes them. That's my point. So if if a doctor prescribes them, I've got no issues and it might come up on a drugs test. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give a little bit of information that I've found out. So I, I do think if there's drug if there's drugs involved, it's most likely to help him heal. Um, there's been no history of you sick with drugs. I, I don't know the guy and I don't know him that well, if I'm honest with you. Um, he doesn't come across like that. I can't see it, but then again, Who knows? Have a good week. Oh, actually, enjoy the fight tomorrow.